Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Gabe with Indigo Software, genuine Microsoft software for less. In today's video, we're gonna show you guys how to boot from an ISO slash CD, specifically in a virtual machine manager. For this video, we'll be doing the tutorial in Microsoft Hyper-V. However, if you're on a physical machine or a different virtual machine manager, the same principles still apply. Before we get started with this video, if you're interested in purchasing Windows Server 2022, remote desktop licenses, SQL Server, or a wide variety of other Microsoft software at a great price, check out Indigo Software. We'll put links down below. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so I'm on the Windows home screen here. We're on Windows 11 Pro, and I'm gonna do Windows S, which is search, and we're gonna search for Hyper-V. As soon as I see the manager, I'll press enter to pull that up. The very first thing that we need to check is to make sure that our server is not running. If it is, simply right click on your machine and you would click turn off. Once you verify that the said machine is off, we're gonna right click into it and we'll hit settings. All right, so the first thing we need to do is locate and make sure that we have a DVD drive selected. Mine is underneath my IDE controller. Uh, it may also be under your SCSI controller or you may have to add one. So if you don't see one in here, you can simply click add on your controller. You can select your controller, for example, the SCSI controller, and then we could add a virtual hard disk. By clicking browse here, we can now search for our file. Now I'm not gonna actually add a new one since I already have my DVD drive configured here. But as you can see, we have this map to our downloads folder, which contains a server ISO file. All right, just to confirm here, there is our server file. And again, I already have mine selected, but you will just select your ISO file. And then once you do that, you'll hit apply. And next, we're gonna move up to security. All right, and then what we need to do is disable secure boot. So we'll uncheck this for now and we'll hit apply. And then finally, we'll go up to firmware. And we need to make sure at this point that our DVD drive is at the very top of this list. And if it's not, which ours is not, we're gonna select it and click move up until it's at the top. Again, we'll hit apply. So we'll double check that secure boot is disabled. Our DVD drive is at the top under the firmware section here. And then lastly, our uh, hard drive here is configured under our SCSI controller. So we have our image file selected and we can go ahead and hit okay. All right, next, we're simply just gonna double click into our server. Now, as soon as we see a screen with some text on it, we're gonna hit any key on our keyboard, which is gonna boot it from the CD. That's an important step on Hyper-V. All right, so here we are. Now I could simply click next in here, and then if we needed this repair your computer option, all of these menus are now accessible as we've booted to the DVD. And then I just simply shut down the machine and clicking back into settings, we could move our DVD drive down to the bottom, enable secure boot, hit apply and hit okay. And now the next time you boot into your machine, you're just gonna boot regularly like you normally would. All right guys, so that's gonna do it for today's video. If you have any questions about any part of that process, drop those in the comment section below and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Again, if you're interested in purchasing Windows Server 2022, remote desktop licenses, SQL Server, or a wide variety of other Microsoft software at a great price, check out Indigo Software, we'll put links down below. So thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time.